Welcome back to the lab where today we're going to look at bovine eyes. Let's start off by looking at some external structures. Here we have this clear portion right here. Now I know it looks cloudy and blue and grayish, but normally in a living creature this would be clear. So what is that structure? Hopefully you're saying the cornea. So remember the cornea is part of the fibrous tunic. Okay, we have this clear portion again, post-mortem that turns this grayish, bluish, cloudy color. And additionally, we have the white of the eye, which is the sclera. Now here, these things that look like meat, that is muscle. And remember, we have those rectus muscles. Now the cool thing is when you flip this eye over, you kind of have to dig around a little bit. But this structure right here, as you're watching this, kind of think to yourself, what do you think that is? If you are saying the optic nerve, you are correct. And I'm going to refer to this again as we uh, get into the eye. So let's go ahead and open this up. So as I open this specimen, what is, what's the first thing you notice other than, ew, that looks pretty gross? Well, we have this clear, watery fluid coming out. And I know you see black here. We'll talk about why that's black in just a moment. But let's think about this for a moment. What part of the eye did I cut into? The anterior or the posterior part? That'd be the anterior portion. So what kind of fluid or humor would this be? As you can see here, it is watery. And so that term aqueous or aqueous humor is what we see right here. This part that kind of fell out right there, this is really neat. This little marble-like structure, okay, if I pick this up, it's real jelly-like. This part right here in the center is um, hard, kind of describe it as a little marble shaped structure. That would be the lens. And all of this jelly-like substance, it is more viscous, meaning it's thicker. That is the other type of humor, which is called vitreous humor. Okay, let's take a closer look at this portion right here. Okay, let me get the blunt probe. So remember, this is the, the inside. So here you can actually see it a little bit clearer. But if I turn it on the, to the inner part, I want you to notice that there are these little stripey looking things here. There is a structure called the ciliary body, which is made up of a couple of things. We have the ciliary muscle, and then notice on the lens here, see how we have these little stripey things? Well, that is evidence of these things called the suspensory ligaments. So together, the ciliary muscle and the suspensory ligaments will create a structure called the ciliary body. And together, what that does is that controls the shape of the lens. And so they'll either loosen or tighten, and that can make the lens either flatter or uh, rounder. Additionally here, we have the uh, circular muscle called the iris. Okay, so the iris, so the, the ciliary muscle part of that ciliary body is the outer portion. This portion right here, that's the inner part, that is the iris. So hopefully you can see the distinction between this right here and this right there. And in the center of the iris, which is commonly referred to as the colored portion of your eye, 
See how right here this is open? I can actually take my blunt probe and I can put it underneath that muscle. So you can tell this is an opening. And in fact, I'm touching the inside of the cornea right there. So this opening right here is actually the pupil. Okay, so if you're wondering about all that black stuff, that is part of the choroid. And remember that the choroid is part of the vascular tunic or the vascular layer. And uh, we have melanosomes that basically absorb uh, photons of light. Okay, so if we have too much light, these dark pigmented molecules will help pick that up. And so let's take a look at something else here. And this is, remember, this is the posterior part of the eye. And notice this little mucusy looking portion right here. Okay, now um, this actually normally lines the whole portion of the eye here, but when I cut it open, it kind of just shrivels up into this little pile. And this is actually the retina. Now the retina is going to attach to this portion right here. Let me kind of bring that up so you can see it. Now what do you think this corresponds to? Well, think back to what I pointed out at the very beginning of the video. If I put my thumb on that, and I flip this over, what's on the other side? The optic nerve. So here is where we'd find the optic disc. Now let's go over what this really neat structure is. Okay, this is actually part of the choroid as well. It's called the tapetum lucidum or sometimes you may see uh, tapetum lucidum. It's also known as the choroidal tapetum or tapetum fibrosum. Now think to yourself, do you have one of these? Hopefully you're saying no, and let me explain why and why we don't have one of those. Have you ever been driving late at night and off to the side, you see these two beams of light that are bluish green looking at you. Well, you determine it's probably an animal and what you are seeing are your car headlights reflecting through the animal's eyes on this tapetum lucidum. And the function of that in some animals, not all animals, but the animals that have this, what this does is this allows photons of light to basically bounce around and that animal, as a, as a result of that, has a little bit better night vision. So no, we absolutely do not have that in our human eyes. Well, that does it for this dissection tour. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and please feel free to check out my dissection tour playlist where you can find um, all the other specimens I've taught through. And don't forget that I also have playlists organized by body systems or organ systems um, so that you can look at these structures compared to what we see in human anatomy models. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.